Hello people and welcome to this class in where I'm going to explain you the main updates of the new version of SketchUp 2024. I have to say that I am excited because these new updates are really, really good. There are a few of them, but I will focus just on the two more important ones. The others are tiny things, but these two will really change the way in where we work in SketchUp. The first one I'm going to talk about is the new graphic engine. You remember that before I complained in different videos about the lack of SketchUp when we want to move many, many graphics. When we have many lines, when our file is heavy, SketchUp used to be slow and we couldn't move around without suffering this slowness. Currently, in this new version, finally, this huge thing has been resolved. SketchUp now is using a new graphic engine. And if we use objects, lines, thousands of them, we will still be able to manage our file. For me, this is something amazing, paramount. I can't describe how important this is for SketchUp and for our projects. So here I have an example. Look at this project. I have to say that it is not mine. It is, it is the project of one of my students. I am very proud of him. He did an amazing work. You can see the amount of objects used in this project. So you can imagine how heavy this file is, right? And still, I am moving the camera. I'm going to use the eye now and I don't have any problem. I can use the hand as well or the zoom in and zoom out and not problem at all. If I move to the file itself, here it is, right bottom, properties. I want to show you how big is this file, 300 megabytes. That is a lot. Remember that I used to tell you that one file of a SketchUp is good to measure it compared to the heaviness or the weight of a human being. When a human being is more than 100 kilograms, we say that that human being is heavy, right? With a SketchUp, I used to say that it was the same, but instead of kilograms, megabytes. More than 100 megabytes is heavy and difficult to move, but not from now on. Now we have a 300 megabytes file and we can move it easily. So once we are in our SketchUp file again, if you want to check where you can manage this graphic engine, you should go to Window, Preferences, and here go to Graphics. Once here, you can read this label graphics engine and it is marked automatically use new graphics engine otherwise you have to hit it and then the software will choose the graphic card more powerful in your computer. You can also click on all these graphic settings and press OK. And that's all. This important change is already in your computer. Now let's jump to the other new feature of this SketchUp 2024, which is really, really amazing as well. We are in a new file. It is the interior of a living room. We'll go inside later. But first of all, I want you to focus on this cube, OK? I will draw something like this, push to make this little bite in the corner. Then look, because this new feature is called ambient occlusion. It is a new style. So we have to move in the default tray to styles. I expand this tray. I go to edit and here I have to move to face settings. Once we are here, I scroll down and here we are. It is a little bit hidden, but we can create a shortcut to switch on or switch off this new feature easily. And look, because ambient occlusion is going to give us a kind of general light in our project. I will switch on ambient occlusion and then look at the queue. It changes a lot, right? We have new shadows, but the new shadows appeared just on these three edges, right? So we are create a kind of feeling of dip. We can control this ambient occlusion with these two sliders, distance and intensity. If I move this distance slider to the right, look that the shadow is longer from the edge. The distance of the shadow becomes longer and longer. And the other slider intensity, as you can imagine, is going to make our shadows more black or less black. You have to know that, as I told you, we are in styles face settings. So if we move to view face style, we can find here as well ambient occlusion. 
and switch on or switch off from here. I will click on here and then it is switched off. As I told you, as far as I think that this feature is super, super important, I mean, when we are creating our final JPG, our final image, this ambient occlusion will increase a lot the feeling of reality and quality of that image. So I recommend you to create a shortcut. How we can do that? Easy, window, preferences, shortcuts. Here we can write down ambient and ambient occlusion will pop up. We select it and we add a shortcut. For example, letter K. I hit on here plus a new message appears. It is saying that K is currently used by another tool, but I would like to reassign yes and OK. So now I press K and ambient occlusion is on. I press K again and it is off. Easy. To finish this class, I would like you to see how this feature can affect a real project. So I'll go to a scenes. I will take this one, double click. And once we are here in this living room, I will hit letter K. And here we have our ambient occlusion on. Anyways, I can go to styles, edit, face settings, scroll down. And here we have our sliders. Again, look at the difference. Ambient occlusion on ambient occlusion off. When it is off, our image is much more plain, right? More simple, not bad. When we use it, then everything takes another feeling. It's more alive. The space is much more attractive, in my opinion. You can focus on these cells here at the right side or on the left side. Even you can focus on these niches for the doors or even on the ceiling. If I play with the distance, I think that the feeling of reality increases. Look down the sofa here how good it is when the distance is short or when the distance is long. I think that around here this value is okay and the intensity maybe we can increase it a little bit but this just depends on your taste. So once we are happy we could export this scene as an image and show it to our client, teacher or whoever. As you can see this tool works as a kind of general light and I really recommend you to use it in your projects. Well, this is all for this class and I hope to see you soon in the next class.